Hello and thank you for watching PPG Mechanical. The other day I took my trike out for a flight and um, I was flying around and then the motor just suddenly died. And so I suspected what it might have been. And so, um, and it was a non-event. And so what I did that before I flew is that I had problems with uh, this, the coil here uh, wires, you know, jiggling loose because they just put them on these uh, on these connectors. They're just on these, and these don't really, uh, you know, hold up too well. And they vibrate, and sometimes they break. So what I did is that I said, "Hey, I'll do one step uh, beyond that." So I went ahead and so so soldered them on. And even though after I soldered them on, they uh, they still broke off. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to go ahead and there's three wires that need to go to this to this here to the ground here on the coil and then um, then like what some people have done before they just fill that whole thing up with silicone so it, sh it stops uh, acts as a shock absorber so yeah and with my experience with electric start and man and uh, having wires breaking and coming loose and breaking off on the starter and I mean and we're talking about it these things are zip tied I mean uh, it shrink tubing soldered and still break so um, there's a lot of vibration on these motors, so this is what this is what I want to do for this repair here. Okay, so I got three wires coming from the magneto uh, to the coil. There's three wires, and so what I did is that I stripped them, and then I put another spade con uh, connector on there, and use that to hold it together. And then what I did is I then I took off the, the little boot on that, and then when I solder that, the that way the solder will flow. And then, and after that, and right here, you can see that I got my uh, little piece of uh, shrink tubing. So after this is soldered, I can just I can just move that up and shrink it onto there, and it'll be a protective covering. Then next step will be um, uh, cleaning off, cleaning that off, and then soldering that. Then I'll solder it on again, and then I'll fill it with a uh, silicone, and then stop it from vibrating. So we'll give that a shot. Okay, so we're now with the three wires soldered to the spade connector, I moved up the uh, heat shrink, and so I got my heat gun, and we're going to go and heat that on. Okay, not only does it act as an insulator, also too, it helps keep the wires together so they don't spread apart. And then um, we're going to move on to the next step, and that's to solder it onto the coil. Okay, with that part of the repair done, now that's soldered on, the ground is soldered onto the uh, coil there. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and goop it up with the, this uh, silicone and... Um, it's good to use a glove because man, that stuff it gets on your hands and it takes it stays on for a few days. So we're gonna go ahead and goop that up really good and let it dry. Alright, so I got this gooped up pretty good so it'll act as a shock absorber uh, to any vibration on those coils and hopefully it'll stop them from breaking off. And so with that, I'm just put the hot light on it here and let it dry and come back in a few hours and install it. Thank you for watching PPG Mechanical.